some non-Muslims pick up the Quran and they say this Quran preaches terrorism. No, the Quran is the furthest away from terrorism. But they have not understood the Quran. The Quran has verses of history where history is recorded. They translate it as though those are commands for me and you. Nay, they are not commands. When Allah says, fight those who have fought you, He has addressed it to those people at the time, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and them. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَأَخْرِجُوهُمْ مِنْ حَيْثُ أَخْرَجُوكُمْ Take them out, drive them out of the same place that they drove you out from. What was that place? That was Makkah al Mukarramah. The, the Mu'mineen were driven out of Makkah al Mukarramah. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is instructing them that now you have the permission to drive them back out of there. So none of us should interpret those verses the way the non Muslims want us to interpret the verses today and in turn call us a bunch of terrorists. May Allah protect us. We are not that. Islam is full of peace. It means peace. It stands for peace. And it will only teach and preach peace. And all of us need to understand that. So we must not fall in the trap. We need to know these verses are connected to issues that occurred in history. We need to learn from them. Just like the other books of history where other wars which were fought by the non-Muslims are recorded in those particular books. No one says that the British are barbaric or the Americans are barbaric. When books of history record what they have done in the past, but rather we learn from what they have done. They also learn from what they have done. The same applies. The Quran has three items in it. It has news about those before us. It has items of history in it. And it has news and prophecies of what is going to come in the future. And it has It has laws and regulations governing how we shall lead our own lives and judging between us. Those are the three types of verses in the Quran. So the verses we have read today, they applied at the time of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and they definitely serve as a lesson for all of us. But let's, let's not misunderstand it when someone comes to the layman as a Muslim, a non-Muslim shows you the Quran and says, you know, look at these verses. They are telling you, go and fight the kuffar. No, those verses are addressing Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and those people at that time. There are reasons of revelation behind these verses. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us understanding. And I hope and I pray that everyone here has a clear mind that Islam is definitely only that which promotes peace.